welcome to the Florida Virtual School and Algebra 1. Algebra 1 is the foundation. The skills you will acquire in this course contain the basic knowledge that you will need for all of your high school math courses. Relax! This stuff is important, but everyone can do it. Everyone can have a good time solving the hundreds of real-world problems that are answered with Algebra 1. When you sign into the Florida Virtual School website using your username and password, you will see a screen like this. This will show you all of the courses that you are currently enrolled in. To enter the course, simply click on Algebra 1, Segment 1. When you come into the Algebra 1 class, you will see an announcement page. Please take the time to go through it and its content. You will always see your instructor's office information, the monthly call list for that week, a list of students who have exceeded expectations for the week, along with other important information. Because we want you to have every advantage possible, the Florida Virtual School offers free tutoring for you. This can change weekly, so please look at the announcement page for the times that are specific for that week. Take advantage of this wonderful tool. When you log into the course, you will see a series of blue buttons on the left side of the screen. The second one down is the Course Information button. After clicking Course Information, you will see Educator Orientation. This may be a bit confusing because it seems that that button would be for the teachers. However, Educator is the name of the program that is used for you to do your work, so you need to be familiar with things that are in this link. Please take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with the technical aspects of working in a Florida Virtual School course. You will find out how you can get started, how to find your lessons, how to submit an assignment, how to resubmit an assignment, and many more aspects of Educator. This is a great tool to always have. The more you know when you begin, the smoother this course will flow for you. On the announcement page, you will also see a section for extra help tutorials. These are things to help you through the course. Remember that showing your work in algebra will help your instructor know where you made your mistake. Make sure to read this so that you will know how to receive full credit on your submitted work. Please make sure when you sign into your course to read your emails. In order to keep you on track, you will be receiving a weekly personalized email that will tell you what assignments you should be working on that week. You will not be receiving junk mail from me. If we send it to you, it's because we need you to read it. Algebra 1 is designed to be completed in 32 weeks if taking both segments 1 and 2. It should take you no more than 16 weeks to complete segment 1 and 16 weeks to complete segment 2. After completing your welcome call and being activated into Algebra 1, your teacher will email you a pace chart with your dates filled out for you. We highly recommend printing out this pace chart and marking off assignments as they are completed. You will receive weekly reminders telling you what needs to be completed each week and whether or not you are on pace. You may also to choose to work at an accelerated pace to complete both segments of Algebra 1 in 18 weeks. If you are interested in receiving an accelerated pace chart, please communicate that with your teacher during the welcome call. It can also be located in the course under the course information button and then pace. Also, the Florida Virtual School provides each student with two vacation weeks during each segment of the course. That way, if your family takes a vacation for spring break or Thanksgiving, for example, you can email your teacher and take a vacation week. Make sure to email your instructor ahead of time, though, if planning on using a vacation week. This is an example of a weekly PACE email. This student is in his second week of Segment 1 and should have all assignments from 2.05 through 3.02 completed by Sunday at midnight. This email tells him exactly what must be completed that week, as well as the date that he should have all of the segment one completed. Now after you have read all of the orientation info, it's time to get started. You can go to the Lessons tab and begin by choosing the first lesson. If you are in segment one, then you would start in module one, and if you are in segment two, then you would start in module six. Algebra 1 builds on itself, so it is important to work the lessons as they are presented.
please do not work out of order. If you are taking this class for honors credit, then you are responsible for the honors assignments and tests. If you are not taking this class for honors, you do not have to do the honors assignments. If you are wanting honors credit above the word level, it should state in red honors status. Make sure to tell your instructor during the welcome call that you are choosing to do the course as an honors course. This is what lesson 2.02 .02 looks like. You are to read through the 2.02 .02 lesson tab, then click on the exercises tab to practice more examples. This is a great tool because it allows you to check your practice and to make sure that you are doing it correctly. Once you've done the practice, it's time to see what your assignment is. Click on the assessment tab to find out. This is a copy of what a piece of your assessment page looks like. Your assessment page is a list of things to do. These are the assignments that you will be submitting for Algebra 1. Some will be auto graded and some will have essay questions that will be graded by your instructor. You have two tries for each assignment, so take advantage. Once you submit the assignment, that assignment will no longer be visible through your assessment page. It's taken off of your list of things to do. This is an easy way to check that you submitted correctly. All quizzes and tests are password protected. When you get to those, please make sure to contact your instructor for your password. Pre-tests and practice tests will not hurt your grade as they are only worth one point. Please note that all quizzes and tests are designed to only allow you to enter them one time. If you close out of them without having submitted your work, you will not be allowed back in without your teacher resetting it. Please allow at least 30 minutes for a quiz, an hour for a test, and two hours for a segment exam. If you do not have that much time for these assessments, please do not start at that time. Now the question is, now that you've submitted your work, how do you see how you did? Well, you're going to look in your grade book page. This will show you the work that you have turned in, when you turned it in, and how you did on it. I would strongly suggest you go through your assessments and look at the comments made by your instructor. These comments, especially on quizzes and tests, are there to help you see how to correct a problem you might have missed. Your grade book page is also where you will see your grade. Scroll to the bottom of the page and you will see something like this. This student is working in segment two. Her current grade is a 91.6 in the second segment as indicated by the blue arrow. Keep in mind that you get a separate grade for segment one and for segment two. This student made a final grade of 96.77 for segment one as indicated by the red arrow. These grades are not averaged together. Now the question may be, how much more do you have to go in the course? Well, this student has done 43 out of 58 assignments in segment two. That means that she has 15 more assignments to do and she will be done with segment two. This is at the very bottom and is indicated by the green arrow. Oral exams are designed for us to discuss what you are learning. They are not designed to be pop quizzes. We will openly walk you through problems that you may need assistance on. The oral assessments are here to make sure that you are understanding what you are learning before you go further with the class. Make sure to call when you get to an oral assessment. If you skip over an assessment, you will put yourself at risk of being locked out of the course. Integrity is a very important thing to all of us here at the Florida Virtual School. Please make sure to do the work yourself and do not compromise your integrity. Please note that we do use several tools to verify that your work is your own, including Turnitin.com. Remember that giving answers to another student will be treated the same as receiving answers. We want you to learn so you can take advantage of this valuable information and be the best person and student that you can be for your future. Monthly calls are also super important to all of us here at the Florida Virtual School. The monthly call is between the teacher, parent, and the student. This will be a time when we will speak about how you're doing in the course. This monthly call will take place at least once a month. When you receive an email reminding you of the monthly call, please use the appointment link to schedule a time in which it is convenient for you and a parent to discuss your progress, or you can simply call your instructor between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If, when you sign into the Florida Virtual School and scroll down to the bottom of the dashboard and you notice the date beside your name is in red, that means you're overdue for a monthly call. Please call or schedule a time to talk immediately. 
When you begin any Florida Virtual School course, you are given a 28-day grace period to see if online learning is for you. During this time, if you decide to withdraw, then you will receive a withdrawal no grade on your transcript and it will not affect your GPA. As a reminder, you must be on pace by the end of this 28-day grace period to remain in the course. If you withdraw after your 28-day grace period, then you risk receiving a failing grade for this course on your transcript. Also, Florida Virtual School classes affect your overall GPA just as taking a class at your traditional school does. So just because it's online does not mean you can put it off. To remain active in any Florida Virtual School course, you must show weekly progress. If you are not showing weekly progress and have not taken a vacation week, then the withdrawal process will start. We know that most Florida Virtual School students have a million things going on, but it is to your benefit to show consistency when moving through this course. Now you may be asking yourself, what now? Well, first of all, you are not required to remember all of this information. Just keep the link handy throughout the course so that you can refer to it whenever you have questions. Next, you need to print out the course handbook from the link in the welcome email. Thirdly, you will need to call your instructor or make an appointment with your instructor for your brief welcome call. Remember that the student and parent must be on the phone for this welcome call. With so many students starting at one time, it is advised to better serve the student and parent that you schedule a time that way that you, we know that you and a parent will be available. The link can be found on the welcome email to schedule a time that works for you as well. Before this call takes place, be sure to have a specific Monday in mind that you would like to start Algebra 1. Be able to discuss and answer questions regarding this presentation as this will be your first oral component for Algebra 1. You will also need to be able to tell your instructor your favorite flavor of ice cream along with something unique about you. We look forward to hearing from you soon and getting you started on this journey through Algebra 1. Remember that your instructor is here to help you. Please follow the things specified in this presentation and communicate with us through this process and you will finish successfully.